Okay, let's take a quick look at assemblies. You can go ahead and open up this file yourself. It's called two blocks. It's in the project folder. Once you open it up, you should see what I'm seeing here. It's pretty similar to the previous parts that we've kind of been looking at so far, except this time we have two objects that are pretty independent of each other. If we look here in the left in the feature manager, we see we have actually two parts that are separate from each other. We can open those up and we can see they're made of lots of features to create them and put them together. We can open up this top one too. And then if we were to actually left click on one of these and move them back and forth, you see we can move one of them, but we can't move the other one. This purple box here we can move, but the gray one's kind of locked down into place. So the reason for that is if I go ahead and close these two trees here, is this F here first. The first part that you place into your assembly will be fixed into space, wherever it is that you want to locate it at. So you can undo that if you want to by right clicking and putting float and you notice the two minuses here so if we were to move it back and forth you see we can actually moving both of them let me go ahead and lock one of these planes here so you can see it moving around as you can see there's our plane we can lift it up and if we were to show that plane again we're actually moving it away from the plane but the reason they're both moving is because of these mates here which we'll cover these in a different topic See, we got a top one and a corner one, so those are going to pretty much be aligned. So we can move them around. If we wanted to lock the second one instead, we can go ahead and make that one fixed. And this one would just slide only one direction, lock into place almost. But as you can see, it slides through because we're not doing any collision detection right now. So let's see what we can do when we are in assembly. It looks pretty similar to what we've been looking at so far with parts. We could edit the components if we wanted to. So if we have this object here selected, we can go ahead and edit that component and make some changes to that. And we'll go ahead and exit out of that over here on the top right corner. I could also, if I needed to make changes, I can right click on it. I have a lot of these options here. And up here, I can also go ahead and edit the part as well as suppress it, apply some mates, which again, we'll cover in a different topic. So let's go ahead and edit this part and see what it looks like. Pretty much the same thing. We'll cover a lot of this in a different section of the course. We can go ahead and insert further components, a new part, a new assembly. We can apply the mates, linear patterns if we wanted to, some smart fasteners. We can go ahead and move it just like we've been doing. If I go ahead and select move, for example, I can move this one here. But if I go ahead and select collision detection and make sure we got stop at collision, we can go ahead and try and move it and you see it stops at that corner as I try and move it around. We can go ahead and show some hidden components as well as more features here, reference geometry, a build of materials, and some more options over here as well. We have some similar views here. We can go ahead and section that and pull it through and see what it looks like from different angles. As you can see it's just giving you a section view, pretty similar to the part still except we're able to actually go ahead and have some movement, lock things down into, into place. We can have a new motion study, which we'll cover that in a different section as well. So as you can see, assemblies are a lot similar to the way parts are, except when it comes to assemblies, we'll be placing parts into the design and constructing a more elaborate piece. And we'll be looking at how the components interact with each other. And when we take those into drawings, we're going to be more focused on how to piece the parts together.